Ever since the first time I read Dune, I was fascinated by the exotic universe that Frank Herbert had created. And then came the movies from Legendary, Warner Brothers, and Denis Villeneuve, who brought Dune to the screen in the most epic way imaginable. So, when Funcom had the opportunity to turn Dune into an open-world survival MMO, we were extremely excited and a little bit nervous. The challenge of recreating the universe of Dune is vast. Our team embraced the idea of using brutalist architecture against the flowing desert landscape to create a world that dwarfs and swallows the player. Fortunately for us, we've been working with Legendary right from the beginning. We got to walk around the sets that they had built for the movie to see how it felt to be transported into the world of Arrakis. And our concept team used this knowledge to help inspire the visual language of the game. And we were very grateful to work with Greg Frazier, the visionary who won the Oscar for cinematography on Dune Part 1. Greg is an artist with light, a master of visual tone, and his vision for Arrakis has greatly shaped our world. Let's have a look. When I saw the complexity that Dune 2 was going to have from its pre-production perspective and from its planning perspective, I realized that being able to use Unreal Engine, being able to have control over light staging all in pre-production was only ever gonna speed up the process. A large part of what we used Unreal for was to pre-plan the shots that we were trying to achieve so that we were able to then put metahuman characters into the location to pre-plan when the shadow was gonna reveal them, when the shadow was gonna be off them. So using Unreal in pre-production was a godsend. The guys the making the Dune Awakening game have been quite inspired by the world that we had built in Dune Part 1. And they've built a world which continues the world that we built on film, and actually probably even expands upon it and builds a world that's greater than the film that we've made. And what excites me going forward in the future is that you know, you've got gaming on this side and film on this side, and they've been very separated up until now. But slowly they're coming together, and I think right now we're at a point where they're literally crossing over. And I think skills from gaming technology and the skills from filmmakers are going to cross-pollinate and become useful for each other. So, from book to film to game, we needed to take the leap from authored story to player-driven sandbox and create the possibility spaces for our world. We needed to build a world of discovery, exploration, and survival. And for this, we turn to Unreal Engine. It comes with the flexibility of the blueprint system so we can set up those sandbox interactions. It provides a world-leading renderer for amazing visuals, and thanks to Nanite, we can use high-poly models at all distances, making the landscape something truly epic to behold. To build our world, we use Houdini with Unreal to generate landscapes with a non-destructive workflow that allows our level designers to sculpt and regenerate without causing issues. And for June, we knew that our sand had to be world-class. Using Unreal plugins such as Fluid Ninja, we were able to build sand displacement technology that reacts to small details like footprints from a player's walk or run. And finally, Lumen provides a lighting system that combines global illumination and bounce lighting to make both our exteriors and our interiors look truly stunning. For us, working with the Unreal Engine toolset, collaborating with our partners at Legendary, and working in the universe that was created by Frank Herbert and brought to life by Denis Villeneuve has been truly inspirational and exciting, and a lot of hard work as well. Humans have always had this drive to create to build worlds, whether in text, on screens, or in games. As a company, we've been on this journey for a long time, crafting open worlds where players can live out their dreams and fantasies. So with that, we're very excited to share our latest trailer with you. Thank you very much for listening. Let's take a look. <laughs> 